Now, what's going on, Pete? You should be the better player. You're stronger, you serve well, you've got the better eye. But with all those advantages, you're still throwing it away. Why? John? Well, I watch him attack on his strengths, and when he's off guard, just smash on his weak side. Right. Pete? It's because he's left-handed. I can't return those smashes. Why not? Why are we waiting? Why, Why not, Peter? I don't know. Too slow on me forehand. So do something about it. He's not your enemy. Your opponent isn't your enemy. He's your ally, your teacher. He shows you where your weakness is so that you can work on it and turn it into a strength. I'll tell you who your real enemy is at the moment. Yourself. The most important thing is not the winning or the cheers of the crowd. The most important thing is working on yourself. That, in the end, is the purpose of the game. Now, I want you to think about that before you play in a tournament tomorrow afternoon. And remember, the guy from county is going to be watching. Oh, he said the crowd wasn't important. <laughs> Not the most important. Now off you go. I'll see you here, two o'clock sharp. Oh, Pete, come on, hurry up or I'm going home. I'm sick of waiting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll get a shower. Blooming tennis. If you're not going to talk to me, there wasn't much point in me waiting, was there? All right, look, I'm sorry I borrowed your rotten old racket without asking. But I didn't break it, did I? And anyway, it's only a game. Oh, sorry. I, I was thinking about something Kevin said. What about? Oh, about the tournament tomorrow. There's this bloke from the county coming, a sort of uh, talent spotter. He might want me for the junior league. <laughs> you better not lose your temper like you did this morning. Sue said you reminded her of that horrible American bloke that jumps up and down and throws fits on the court. Oh, did she? <laughs> anyway, the school tour to Holland's more important. That'd be great. Oh, yes, you lucky devil. You'd better not fancy all those Dutch girls. <laughs> Have you got the money yet? Yeah, my granddad's left it us in the bank. Ah, jammy. Is your brother coming to watch you play tennis tomorrow? What? Ah, you see. I know lots about you. I know you've got a brother, and his name's Paul, and he's two years younger than you, and he goes to boarding school, and... Oh, and he's coming home for the weekend. Who told you all that? Sue. And who told her? John. You told John, and John told Sue. Not everyone has secrets from their girlfriend, you know. It's not a secret. I was only teasing. Why is he at boarding school and you're not? Cos he's special. Oh. Is he really clever? Paul. Paul is a star. What's he like? Is he quiet like you? <laughs> quiet? He must be joking. He never shuts up. Like me, eh? Yeah. I'd like to meet him. Did you say he'd be at tennis? No, he hates tennis. Why? He only likes things he's good at. Yeah, well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. What's he into? Photography. He's photography mad. He's always uh, winning competitions and things. Is he? That's what I want to be, you know. What, a photographer? No, stupid, a model. Got your photos, Paul. Thanks. Oh! Caught in the act. Yeah, hi. You must be Paul. Sit down, dear. At your service, and who might you be? This is Christy, my girlfriend. He didn't tell me about you. He didn't tell me about you either. New camera, Paul? Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Must have cost a bomb. Where'd you get it from, school? No, you must be joking. They wouldn't let me off the premises with this. No, Mum bought it for me. You do spoil me, Mum. Your face is a picture. You expect me to be taller, didn't you? Did you go to his school? Mm, yeah. Not another tennis freak. What, me? No, I, I can't even catch the ball, let alone hit it. Oh, great, you can play with me then. Still, I have got an excuse. It's all right. You don't need to keep a straight face. You can smile if you want, just because I'm in a wheelchair. Oh, well, it's not just that. It's... Well, I think I've seen you somewhere before. Don't tell her. I'll give her a clue. Te, 
le be jin You were on Jim, we'll fix it, <laughs> won't you? And he went to Disney World. I've always wanted to go to Disney World. Do you want to see the photos? Yes, please. Fine. Oh, no, not the photos again. Afraid so, brother. Don't mind him, he's just jealous. I told him if he'd cut his legs off, he'd have been in there like a shot. But he wouldn't even make that little sacrifice. Oh, please. <laughs> Peter, why don't you go and make us a nice cup of tea? OK. Chrissy, how many sugars? Oh. Make that Coke, Pete. Yeah. Have a Coke. Yeah, OK, then. Two Cokes, please, Pete. Lots of ice. The best bit, really, though, wasn't really Disney World itself. The flying was really the best bit. Imagine you're in this giant jumbo flying across the Atlantic two miles up and you get this message. Do you want to go up to the front and sit next to the pilot in the cockpit? I mean, wow, really wow. We haven't got any Cokes left. What, Mum, no Coke? Oh, sorry, love. Uh, Peter, go to the off-licence and buy some. Mum, I'm knackered. Well, it won't take a minute. It will. It's miles. Don't argue, Peter. And please don't be so selfish. Just go. Mm, Mum, you make the best cakes in the world. It's worth it, just to see you enjoying it. You're the best mum in the world, too. And you're the best son. Some more? Yes, please. More cake, Chrissy? No, thanks, no. Okay. Oh, you're back. Just beginning to wonder where you've got to. Is that you doing our tree? Yeah, a couple of years ago. I used to be able to do all sorts. Not always been like this. I used to be able to walk till I was eight. It's a disease. They don't know you've got it when you're born. And it just gradually gets worse and worse. Oh. Cheer up. We've all got to go sometime. Might as well make the most of it while we're here. I suppose that's why I like photography so much. Helps you to remember. Mum, how much was the camera? Oh, enough. I can't remember exactly. What, on the drip? What? HP. No, of course not. I used Grandad's money. What, all of it? Nearly all. <laughs> what about my trip to Holland? I'm afraid that's going to have to wait till another year. That's not fair. And then another time, this bloke stops at the zebra to let me cross. And of course, I get halfway across and hit a bump or something. And I come flying out and they <laughs> plonk right in front of him. Poor bloke nearly gave me a heart attack. Oh. At last, a drink. Thirsty work, this entertaining your girlfriend, Pete. You should be doing it. Trance would be a fine thing. Anyway, you'll be able to entertain us both tomorrow at the tennis tournament. I don't think that's a very good idea, Paul. You'll be far too tired. Mum, I'm all right. And it'll be hot. I want to go. And dusty. Mum, I don't need looking after and fussing over all the time. All right. I'll take you to tennis. No, I'm going with Chrissy. Abraham takes the first set by six games to four. Abraham leads by one set to love.
right? What? Look through the hole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll win one. Yeah. That's it. Right. right. Now, when the picture gets clear. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Press the button on top. Oh, yeah. You like that? Yeah. Right. Go on, then. Press the button. Yeah. Second set to Murdoch. One set all. Oh, I don't think Pete's doing very well. Bad luck, Pete! Third set, first game, Murdoch to serve. There you are. I brought you an extra sweater. How are you feeling? I don't need it. I'm all right. Oh, you're looking a bit flushed. I think we ought to go. Why? I'm OK. I'll go home with Chrissy and Peter. Well, how long will that be? Deuce. Abraham. Come on, Pete. Come on. This one's for me. to him, you'll be missing out on all the attention. What do you mean? Well, did he tell them he's been on the telly and to Disney World and sat next to a pilot on a jet? Did he show them the camera so they could all admire it? I suppose they think you're a right little heroine, spending your afternoon looking after a cripple in a wheelchair. Oh, how dare you say that? It's a horrible thing to say, and it's not true. Then why have you been all over him all but afternoon? I'm not. I've just been friendly to him, that's all. And if you must know, it's because I feel sorry for him. Because he's in a wheelchair? No! Well, well yeah, well, partly that. But it's not just that. I feel sorry for him because he thinks he's got to make up for it by showing off. But at least he knows what he's doing. Queen to White Bishop, too. Oh, you pig! What am I meant to do now? Checkmate. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Your turn to be beaten. I don't think so, Paul. Remember who taught you to play? Oh, Peter, there's some coffee and cake in the kitchen for you. Oh, in the kitchen? I'm not hungry. What's the matter with him? Peter? Peter! Mm. Chrissy has gone and I've got to pop round to Mrs Lucky for ten minutes, so will you please get downstairs and look after your brother? And you can wash up the tea things. Where's mine? In the kitchen. Go and get yourself. Give me that remote control. I don't want it to loud. Well, I do. No. Stop it, will ya? Ow! You hurt me, Anne. Tough. Pig. Oh, don't be so pathetic. Stop putting it on. Mum might be taken in by it, but I'm not. What do you mean? Oh, Mum, I can't do it. Mum, can I have a glass of water? Mum, I've got a headache. You really play on it, don't you? I don't. Yes, you do, and I'm sick of it. You're such a little martyr, such a little hero, making everyone feel so sorry for you. It's all right, Pete. I know why you like this. It's because of Chrissy. It's got nothing to do with her. It's all here, you know. It's all on record. Slapping your face. Tut, 
tat. Shut up, or I'll smash that to bits. Temper, temper. Then what would you say to Mum? But I tell her you dropped it on the floor because you got such weak little arms. Then it'd be my word against yours, and who would she believe? There you go. You use everything to get your own way, to get what you want. That's the only reason why you got a computer for Christmas. That's why you get to go to Disney World and places. That's why Chrissy makes such a fuss over you, showing you off to all her friends. That's not because she likes you, you know. It's because she feels sorry for you. You're just jealous, admit it. Am I? Ask her. I don't need to. Then I'll tell you then. She said that she felt sorry for you because you're always showing off because you're in a wheelchair. You're jealous. Jealous? Rubbish. Yes, you are, and you always have been jealous. How do you think I feel when all through the week Mum's wittering on about you? How do you think I feel when you come home and she's flapping about like a mad hen? I bring someone round, you take over. I play tennis, you ruin the game. Don't blame me because you're losing. It's not my fault you got into a paddy. It's not my fault your girlfriend thinks you're boring. Oh, yes, just ask her what she said about you. Don't like it when the boot's on the other foot, do you? How do you think I feel, hmm? I do play games. I do show off. I tell stupid little jokes to get the attention. I admit it. I like it. Why do you think I do it? How do you think I feel when I see you racing around the tennis court, having a girlfriend, all the things I'll never have? Don't you think I'm jealous of you? Why do you think I take photographs? To hold on to time, to stop it. You're just trying to make me feel guilty now. Look, I want to make people laugh, so I learn how to tell jokes. You don't want that. You want people to like you, to... I don't know, to love you. So you've got to learn how to make them. No point playing the game if you don't know how to win, and I do. Hello. This looks cosy. Mum. Right. I think it's time we had a little talk, don't you? Because I, for one, have had enough. So have I. What? I don't want any more of your moody mutters, Pete. Or any of your stupid wisecracks. I want to know exactly what's going on. And I want to know now. Well, was that it? Right, my turn. Well, you've both said a lot of things and you've given me a lot to think about. Thank you. Oh, I'm not going to sort this out all on my own. You've both got to do a bit of thinking as well. But one thing I will say, Pete, if you want to be a successful tennis player, you've got to buck your ideas up. And, Paul, I wish I'd never bought you the wretched camera, and that's the truth. Now, you're meeting Chrissy in the park tomorrow, yes? OK. And you're going with them. I'm not. I don't want to. Ah, you've had your say. Now, you can either go together as friends, or we can all meet together here and sit in this room glaring at each other. Now, which is it to be? The choice is yours. Hiya. I never thought you were coming. Why? Watch what you're doing, idiot. And stop following me. I want to be on my own. Tough. You know what Mum said? I don't care. I don't want and I don't need a minder. OK. Go off on your own, then. And I hope you have an accident. Same to you, with knobs on. Well, it's true. You are a show-off. And anyway, the fact that you're a couple just adds to your attractions, because it means I can be rude to you, and you can't hit me. I can ram you, though. Don't you dare watch it. If you dare, if you... Ha! Ah. Now you can't get me now, can you? Hey, what are you going to do now? Ah! Uh, What's wrong? Ah! Uh, Polly, are you OK? Uh, What's wrong? Ow! Oh, get out of here, Polly! I you're serious. You're just on my foot. I'm never serious. Oh, Let's go out to that tree and take some pickies. Come on. Go on, as long as you go first.
Oh, God, it's cold. You have to get used to suffering if you're going to be a model. Still, you do go out with Peter. Well, that's a horrible thing to say about your brother. Oh, shut up and start posing. Don't call me a poser, you spazzo. Right. Well, okay. do something active, then. What? Move around. Do something active. Oh. OK. Yep. Ah! There's a wasp! No! I hate wasps! I cannot know! Oh, yes, fantastic. No. Keep it up. <laughs> Where is it? This is Where good. is it? Where is it? That's why he took up tennis. Self-defense. Oh, God, it's supposed to be looking elegant. Just get it away from me from the start. Oh. I can't be elegant if I'm trying to pose. I can't if there's a wasp. Ah! You. You were spying on us. Paul, he was spying on us. Yes, little toe rag. Serves him right if he's killed himself. Well, I think he has. Nah, tough as old boots, my brother. But he's not moving. Nah, he's putting it on. Kick him. Pete. Pete, you all right? The ankle. The ankle. What? See? Which one? This one? Ah. Sorry, sorry. I think he's broken it. How are we going to get him home? In a wheelchair, of course. Great time for the batteries to run flat, eh, Paul? <laughs> yep, we'll make a two-wheelchair family yet. Yeah. Oh, well, gently. Oh, you're heavier than I thought you were. Let me go first. OK. No drinks for me tonight. That was traumatic. Oh. Well, it's all a question of balance. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> Come here. Now then. Gently. Uh, uh, Sorry. Yeah. Uh, You're lucky it isn't broken. Yeah, it's my fault. Serves me right. Paula, I want to. Now, pills, shoes, and films. Kitchen sink. Ten minutes, Paul. What were you going to say? When? Before Mum came in. Oh, yeah, I was going to say... Where are the new I... films? Oh, uh, I put them by the phone. Or, or was it in the fridge? Well? Oh, it doesn't matter. Peter? Where? On the fridge. You're... I wanted to say I'm sorry. Oh, sorry for being so selfish. And for being in a mood all weekend. I'm sorry, too. What are you sorry for? Anyway, I said it first. I'm sorry I ain't got any photos of me and my big brother. Right, it's on remote. All you got to do is smile and say cheese. Right, what, like cheese. this? That's it. Right. One, two, three. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese? There's no cheese on here. 